Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of AQS Quilting Stars. I am so excited to be talking to my friend, Linda Hahn. It's been a while since I've seen you and since I've talked to you. I am here in Quilt City, USA. That's Paducah, Kentucky, for those of you who might not know. And what a joy to be able to just project right into your house. And you're going to show us around. Is that right? That's really cool. Yes. Oh, and I miss you guys so much. This virus got to go. Oh, amen. I, I agree 100%. We miss you too. We miss you too. But it's such a special treat to be able to at least see you here. And I was telling you a second ago, you're coming through crystal clear. It's almost like you're here, but not quite. Cool. And I'm down in Palm Bay, Florida, which is about 20 miles south of um, Cape Canaveral. Oh, okay. So I can, you can place that on a map in your head if you're watching at home. And how's the weather there? Is it nice? Um, Right now, we have intermittent downpours, but we're still in the mid to high 80s. Oh, my gosh. We've been having rain, rain, rain in Paducah, and it's gotten down to the 40s a couple nights. And so I'm wearing my turtleneck, <laughs> but, that, but that sounds lovely. Oh, I'm loving it here. I'm loving it here. Well, good for you. And we can all live vicariously through you. Would you show us around? Yeah, you want to see my house? Oh, my gosh. Yes, please. Okay, and uh, you probably remember I moved here just a couple of years ago from New Jersey. We're still making adjustments because um, you know when you're when you're on the road and teaching and stuff, you don't get to do everything. So we're doing it little by little. So let me turn my camera, and I'll take you through. When you walk into my house, uh, you'll see my little dining room. And all these boxes are uh, ceiling fans and my new fabric collection, which I'm going to show you in a little bit. That just came. And then we have a nice um, little sun sunroom here. And you come into my kitchen, which I don't particularly use because I don't like to cook. <laughs> Same here. Yeah, hamburger helper is about what we get. Now, this is our uh, living room. We just put this fireplace in. Oh, that's beautiful. I really love that. Okay. And it'll be nice and toasty when it gets cooler there. And this is, this is actually also my uh, Zumba studio. So I teach uh, Zumba for quilters um, twice a week. And we have quilters from all over the country. And then we come into what was the master bedroom. So it's kind of it's kind of tight from what I'm used to in New Jersey. But I have my desk rearranged because you know to set up for the virtual classes. And I do have a long arm. And out the window we have a, our pool. So it's it, there's not a lot on the walls. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's okay. It, I mean, it's, and there's all my stuff. You've got and beautiful Florida light in there. It looks so nice, and I'm totally jealous of the pool because I would love to go swimming right about now. Now I saw Alex Anderson. She she showed you um, her her closet, and hers was messy. So you want to see where my fabric is? Oh yeah, yeah. We're coming into my big bathroom here. <laughs> And this is the walk-in closet in the bathroom. That is my fabric closet now. That's perfect. What a great storage solution. And I mean, it doesn't look that messy to me. You've got everything in the proper bins. It looks a lot better than my fabric stash looks. Okay. Let me go to the floor. Oh, okay. Let's <laughs> see what you weren't showing us. Hey, then, here's what I, I always say that that's real life and people have to see that we all live like that and it's not just them. Oh, yeah. It's, oh, no, it's not just them. Okay, and then that's, that's outside. And oh, then, how nice. Uh, on the other side of the house, that's where my lecture quilts. And then... This is my office, which is our guest room as well. This guy had this built in who we bought it from. Oh, that's beautiful. That's perfect. What a good use for that. 
And it looks like yeah. you have plenty of space, you know, there for like regular living space and also quilt making and an office and everything. That's awesome. Looks great. I got a little bedroom there and I got another bathroom. So we're, we're good. Well, thank you so much for showing us around. I love your house and I love how bright and beautiful it is. And I love all the colors and the fabric and everything that I'm seeing. It looks so nice. And so congratulations cool. on the move. I know that you moved a, a few years back, but I know it was a big change and I hope you're enjoying it. Very much, very much. Cause I really don't like the snow. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. I don't like it either. I, I am very entertained. Uh, let me put this back in the stand. I'm very entertained uh, sending pictures of my feet in the pool to yeah. my North friends. Yeah, whenever I see those on Facebook, I have to uh, be honest that I do covet it a little bit because it just looks so nice and so warm and maybe one day. Yeah. Hey, huh? so, so let me ask you, what are you working on right now? What am I working on? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I have a manuscript for a new book that's due in December. <laughs> so I've been working on those quilts. And I've been working on doing a new workshop with Celtic interlaces. Whoa, that's so pretty. What are you using? Is are, What is that? Is that cording or? This is, this is, um, usable bias. This is the Bowen uh, bias and the knots are made independent so that you can take them and applique them on a background or a shirt, a skirt or whatever. It, it's pretty cool. There's, do you know my maiden name was O'Reilly? Okay. So there's a little bit of history there. A little bit of history there. Uh, I have another collection coming from Banyan Batiks. Okay, great. So uh, I'm busy. You are so busy. Oh my gosh. And the I love that new technique that you're working on. Are you going to teach that um, online or anything like that? Yes. Um, virtual workshops should be available in January. Cool. And where can people find your virtual workshops? I'm listing them on my website, froghollowdesigns.com. And um, we have a, a newsletter that we put out every month. Because what I do is I do different classes each month. Okay. So that they're they're uh, not necessarily necessarily on demand, but these are what I'm doing this month. So you can join in any time. Perfect. Well, that's great. And people would be excited to learn something new. And that looks like a really cool technique that, you know, a lot of people will be interested in. And we definitely know you're busy. I want to take a second to tell folks that um, we have your first, or at least a, a lot of your first um, collection of fabric um, with Banyan Batik called Carnival. Um, for sale on shopaqs.com. And I know that we also have a lot of your books. Um, we've got uh, your iQuilt class, New York Beauty Simplified. And I was making a joke with um, Alan, who's been helping with, you know, doing the camera, that I was going to talk about how you are a New Jersey beauty. I am. Actually, <laughs> I was, I was, <laughs> I was born in Staten Island, New York. Oh, so you are a New York beauty. I am a New York beauty. Oh, how perfect. Well, that, I mean, for those who don't know, you are known for um, kind of totally changing the technique with New York beauties and making them easy to do and uh, less intimidating for people. And we have your New York beauty simplified iQuilt class on um, shop AQS and on iQuilt.com. So if you want to watch it on iQuilt on your computer, you can do it like that, or you can order the DVD on shop AQS. And I want to tell folks out there, if you want in on any of these awesome Linda Hahn resources that we have, you can um, join or, or, or to become an AQS member at AmericanQuilter.com slash join. And that would give you 20% off of all those books, off of that iQuilt class. It's a really great deal. And right now, I'm pretty sure we're still doing a special where if you join, you're going to get a $20 gift certificate to the shop where you can just go in and buy whatever Linda books you want or your fabric or yeah. any of the other cool stuff that we have of yours. Cool. And I have a new New York Beauty book. Oh, let's see. Do you have it? I do. Now, the, the first New York Beauty book, New York Beauty Simplified, that one 
was an experiment in changing the colors and changing the orientation of the blocks to get different flavors for the quilts. New York Beauty Diversified, which is number two in the series, which you also have, takes that simple block and incorporates it into other easy quilter blocks, like a log cabin or a square and a square, and then that gives you more dynamic quilts. Book number three really goes a little wild, and um, I'll show you some of the quilts. It it can take uh, the New York Beauty block and, and go whimsy. You can do spiders, beach crabs, butterflies, and all kinds of like really wild things with it. Well, you recently taught for us the one with the crabs on the beach, and it's so cute, and it, you would never think, oh, I'm going to use a New York Beauty to make this, but you do, and it, it's it's really fun to see the different ways that you've been creative with that. Yeah, this is this is one of the um, two quilts out of all the New York Beauty quilts I have that is not named with a New York name. Everything else has a New York name. This is feeling crabby. Oh, there they are. They're so cute. And the waves, the beautiful beauties in the waves. It's such a cool use of that block. A lot of people are intimidated or they don't want to do paper piecing because they feel there's a lot of fabric waste. I fixed that. You can make a miniature from the scraps and cutaways. So as you're making this big quilt, you're gonna have scraps. And with the scraps, you can make the mini. That's such a great use of that because we always have scraps and we always hate throwing away that really nice fabric that we bought. Now you can also go modern. And I'll show you the mini for the modern. Oh, that's so nice. I love how versatile it is. And I love the modern colors and the white background. So you can do a little bit of whatever with the New York Beauty. You can do, you can do everything. It's as versatile as the nine patch. And this is the new one. So we stayed with the, um, the series, Simplified, Diversified, Electrified. So we're, we're keeping that going. That's so cool. And where can people get that book of yours? Is that a for sale on your website? That's on my website. And it was Frog Hollow Designs? Frog Hollow, yeah. Froghollowdesigns.com. Perfect. Well, will you tell us about the quilt that's behind you? Oh, this is a workshop exclusive. Let me fix that. And this is quilt number two that's not named. It's called Wicked Wahini. And I made this and quilted it in 11 hours. That's how quick this technique is. What? That's amazing. I'm not saying I bound it. Well, we don't have to count that part. <laughs> I, I don't do handwork, but I, I made it and quilted it in 11 hours. Um, the technique is such that you can make, once you get it, six blocks an hour. And I have been timed. Wow. Start to finish. Six blocks an hour? Yeah, six New Year's Beauty That's great. You folks have to get your hands on th this technique because right now I, I know a lot of people have been talking um, who I've been speaking to and other quilters we've heard from, and I know myself included, where it's like not as inspired as maybe I once was, <laughs> and so I want to make something, but I know that if I get into like a really long project, I'm probably not going to finish it. Uh, so to be able to make something that you know is going to, be something that you can finish and love. And I'm obsessed with the colors in that quilt and how bright and beautiful it is and how it just stands out. It's just a lovely, lovely quilt. And there's no set in seams either. Oh my gosh. Well, that is a selling point, believe you be, believe you me, because I hate doing those. Yeah, it's, it, it's a quickie, it's a quickie. Well, great, what else do you have to show us? I have, uh... Book number three in the Rock That Quilt Block series. AQS did the first two books, Rock That Quilt Block Weather Vane and Rock That Quilt Block Hourglass. So the next book in the series is Rock That Quilt Block Country Crown. 
Oh, uh, yeah. And I've seen some of the quilts that you've been uh, making with that. And will you tell everybody who's watching, I know what Rock That Quilt Block is, but will you tell them kind of about the concept and what you do with the blocks? The concept is you, you take a quilt block and you play. And I'm giving you permission to play. You might um, add a color. You might take away a color. You might rotate a patch. Or you might rotate the angle of a patch. And you get all new blocks. It is so much fun. Yeah, I think what's so cool about that is that you learn how to make a block. And then with your book and with the way you teach it and you often lecture about it, you can take that block and you can make all kinds of different quilts that are sometimes unrecognizable from one another. And it just totally changes your whole repertoire of skills by just changing that one block. Yes, yes. Now this, this is the country crown block here. Oh yeah. It's morphing. You're, you're all the same block. But they, but just changing a background color or a color in the points or, I mean, it makes it such a different block when you do yeah. that. How cool. I love doing that. And you can apply that concept to um, pretty much any quilt block. And so in your walk, in your rock that block books, um, do you have, is it like separate patterns or do you just show them how to change the block and do it in different ways or, or what all are they going to get when they get one of those books? Uh, they're going to get the main block, which is the basis of the book. And they're also going to get instructions and examples. Well, what happens if you did this, if you change this color, what happens if you added this color? And they're going to see how the blocks evolve into other blocks. And then you're going to take that block apart and perhaps rearrange the components. So you still have the components. You're just changing them around. And you're getting a whole new look. That's so cool. And to me, that is like inspiration in a bottle because you've already done the legwork for us and we can open up that book and then see all the different possibilities and go from there. And if you don't like how the block looks in one way, you know, just change it around and see how it looks in another way. And it might be your absolute favorite thing. I think that's a, a really special thing that you do. And um, we've got the other books on I Know Shop AQS. And uh, for the newer ones, they can go to Frog Hollow Designs and get their hands on that. Yeah, it, it's a huge confidence builder, and you could you could do it as a group and have everybody do a different design. Oh, that's a great idea. If you're part and of a there's, quilt there's guild, a lot of things you can do with with a bunch of people. Right, right. I know that um, you know we've been talking to a lot of quilt guilds around the country, and that would be a really fun thing, a fun project for a guild to do, sort of where you know you make your block and then you pass it on, and somebody, everybody makes their different version of that block, and then make a quilt together. Maybe something that you can hang up and enjoy for a long period of time. Yeah, very cool. So, um, do you want to see? Want me to hold some of the fabric up? Oh yeah, let's let's take a look at the fabric. Well, you know, my, my quilt carnival number five was in, I think there's, there's um, one issue just came out afterwards. So the issue before uh, of American Quilter magazine. Yes, it was. So if you're an AQS member, you have um, that magazine. So go in there and take a look at that quilt because it's a beautiful quilt. And again, I'm, I'm just obsessed with the colors and the fabrics that you use. Now, I'm going to tell you something. This is one block. You're a master at that, Linda. Look at you. That's so cool. One block. So the fabric, I'm really excited. The fabric has a, a really gorgeous stripe. Oh. Stripe that I used is that one. Oh, I love that stripe. That's really nice. And it's not, it's dynamic. It changes. It's beautiful. And some of these will read as solid in your quilts. So if you're looking for a solid color, but you don't want just something that's stagnant, these are great options for you. And, and Banya was really good 
uh, working with me to get the stripes not straight. Yeah, that's, that's what I was weird. talking about. It's dynamic. It keeps your eye moving and it keeps it from being stagnant. It's it. So you don't have to cut right. You what? You don't have to cut straight. Oh, praise the Lord. You don't have to cut straight. <laughs> that is important to all of that us. That works for me. <laughs> Absolutely, it works. You know, I, I get up and I, I work like 3, 30, 4 o'clock in the morning. Oh, my gosh. And, Why? And sometimes um, it's quiet. Okay. It's quiet. <laughs> and I, I just, nobody's calling. Nobody needs to be fed like the husband. Um Nobody needs to be fed, you know, it just, it's quiet. Yes, that, that is true. And we do all have to feed our husbands so we can all, we can all sympathize with that. <laughs> yeah, um, so that means I don't necessarily cut straight. Yep. Well, and I don't have an excuse, but I don't cut straight anyway. So I, I'll think that I'm doing really great and then I'll get to the end, even with a rotary color cutter and be like, hold up my, hold up my fabric and go, Nope, didn't cut it. That is not right. So that's, that's good to know that you don't have to cut those stripes straight. Yeah, yeah. So um, I'm very happy with it, very happy. Well, and, and you've got another one coming out soon-ish. When, uh, when is the other line coming out that you're working on? Do you know? Um, Do you have a release color, date yet? The colors are in. Okay. Um, it, may be, it may be another Island Vibes because that was – that was just beautiful. It was, um, the yellow was like butter. I've never seen a beautiful yellow. And it, it was just, oh my God. And it had the sea turtles, um, which Melbourne, Florida is known, which is the town next to me. They're known for their sea turtle nesting areas. Oh, how cool. That's why we picked um, Island Vibes. Well, it's funny because even though you're from New Jersey, I feel like I've always associated you with the beach and beachy and the island. And so these fabrics and these colors work so great. But that's not, you know, if, if that's not your thing, it's not limited to that in any way. You could, you showed oh. us the first quilt you showed us a minute ago had a lot of fallish tones in it. And so you can use them however you like. But I always associate you with brightness and happiness and the beach and just like chill out time. Because I am happy. I know. That's why it's so much fun to talk to you and why I'm having such a good time talking to you. And I, and I have to say, I miss you and I miss seeing everybody. And so um, I really appreciate you coming on here to talk with us. Cool. I'm, and I do. I, I miss you guys terribly. I really do. Just the, the smiling faces, the hugs, mm -hmm. you know, the after hours. Absolutely. Stop. Absolutely. Yeah. And, but it sounds like you're staying really busy during this whole time. And so by the time we're doing shows again in 22, I am ready to hang out and have dinner and, you know, hugs again and everything. And, and I, I am, we started talking about it. I don't remember if we were on film or not. Um, I do do uh, free Zumba classes. Oh, right. And there are Monday and Wednesday 9 30 eastern time and we have quilters from all over the country we have them from uh california we have a lady from wyoming uh, a couple of national teachers are on there and it's um zumba is not necessarily for the young skinny girls because you <laughs> thank goodness <laughs> you can be fit and fluffy yes you can be and that is something we all need and to remember myself included so i i started doing it because I can and um, I wanted to do a community service for the quilters to you know just get them up and moving a little bit well I love that where where can people get into those uh, virtual classes I will um, send you the meeting number and the password oh okay yeah oh. And, and you can share that I'm okay with that share and that's that's the keys to my kingdom Oh, well, great. Okay. Well, so if you're out there and you want to do something a little bit different and you want to get moving, Zumba is so much fun. I have friends who do Zumba too, and I will have to get on and try it with you, Linda, because I know it would be a hoot. And I could definitely use a little bit more exercise, especially now that it's rainy and cold all the time. Yeah, and, and I have fun. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I know you. I know you do. I know you. There's no way you couldn't. <laughs> I want to say thank you again for, for talking with us and showing us those quilts and the fabric. And it's been exciting to see everything you're working on and your beautiful house. And I want to remind everybody out there um, to go to Shop AQS 
iquilt.com and um, get those books and those classes of Linda's that we have and get some of her fabric to make your own quilts at home. And then um, for the newer stuff, uh, Frog Hollow Design or Designs with an S? Design with an S. Okay, froghollowdesigns.com. That's where you can find all of Linda Hahn's stuff. And until next time, be sure to like and share this video with your friends so everybody can get in on the quilty fun and the new programming. And thanks again, Linda. It's always, always, always a pleasure to talk to you. Oh, you too, Liz. <laughs> love you. Love you love too. Love you, Allie. <laughs> <laughs> I will pass your love to everyone in the office. Yes, please do. Please I do. sure will. <laughs>